Everyone, it's Golden Globes Sunday. My favorite part of the year is award season. I'm a little bit extra at this time of year. So basically, Golden Globes are the first night, the first time in the new year when we get to celebrate uh, a red carpet and an award ceremony. I have certain desserts that I like to bake for every single award season. My Golden Globes recipe is brownies, and then my Oscars is cupcakes. Okay, let's just jump into this. So what you need is a third of a cup of vegetable oil, Pour that in, then you're gonna want a third of a cup of water, and you'll also need one egg for these brownies. And then all you wanna do is stir everything up and mix in that one packet of brownie mix. Okay, so as you can see, we got it perfectly even. This is a nine by nine pan, I think. It's actually my friend Amy's. Thank you, Amy. We're gonna put this in for 45 to 50 minutes. All right, so here is the setup. Here are my brownies. We have our 2020 Golden Globes ballot. And then we just have my little workstation because I gotta get some stuff done tonight. The red carpet literally just started. I was watching the pre-red carpet. That's how obsessed I am with award season. And my friend Kelly is coming over. But that's gonna be it for the Golden Globes. I will see you guys at the SAG Awards. This is my favorite day of the entire year. Guys, it's Oscar Sunday. I have officially begun my Oscars prep. I have the E! Live from the Red Carpet brunch on. I bet you didn't know they did coverage all day. They do, and I am <laughs> one of those people that has it turned on all day. I have been prepping and cleaning because I'm having some friends coming over tonight. So I have some different flavors of cupcakes we're gonna make today. Again, not a tutorial. I'm not a pro baker. This is just me being passionate about something and wanting to share it with the world. So our first flavor that we have for today is some yellow. I wanted to go with your classic Oscars gold. All you have to do with this is a cup of water, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and then three eggs. And then they bake for about 28 to 33 minutes. This is going to take a while. It is currently 448, so almost five. And hopefully this is all going to be done and cooled and iced by the ceremony itself. So I started watching the Oscars like seriously when I was 12. At the time, I really wanted to go into animation. And so animation, the categories, eh, whoops, that just spilled. The animation category is usually in the middle of the ceremony. I would record it after school, after all my homework was done. I would come home and sit down and go in my basement and I would turn on the DVR and I would watch it. For a lot of it, I did skip through because at the time, all I was focused on was like animation, animation, like hyper focused. As the years went on and as my interest in film, I guess, grew, I started to watch the whole ceremony and my parents would let me stay up later. And then probably my last two years of high school is when I really started to like go all out. And I had one year I wore like a gold dress and then I started making cupcakes and I had these little like toppers that were DIY made that I would put in my cupcakes. And since then it has kicked off my like celebration of award ceremony. This was such a great year for movies. I'm like super passionate about a lot of the movies this year. I've watched all but three of the nominees. Just gonna mix it up. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Here we have all of our cupcakes. Very nicely forward, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I'm gonna wipe all that like excess off and then pop those in the oven. First batch is ready. Realized that initially I had said 30 minutes. No, that was totally wrong. The cupcakes are only supposed to be in there for 12 to 17. And those are done at, those are 15 and they're kind of golden brown. So I'm just gonna leave them. I'm gonna do the whole toothpick trick. It comes out clean, you're good to go. All right, so one of my other favorite things to do for award ceremonies is print out the ballot. I started doing this last year, it was the first year I did it. I was horrible. Did it for the Golden Globes this year. 
totally had my butt whooped. I think I guessed like two, which is like kind of embarrassing for a film major. Hopefully, <laughs> since I've seen a lot this year and I'm a little bit more experienced, chances aren't looking great, but <laughs> hopefully I just don't embarrass myself in that I beat Christian this year because last year I lost to him. You know, it kind of stinks when your boyfriend hasn't seen half the movies, doesn't know what the categories are, and he still beats you. Usually I go to either Vanity Fair or Variety. Oh my gosh, the little girl from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood just came on the screen. She's so cute. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be dramatic, but are these not the most fluffiest, best cupcakes you've ever seen? I just popped the third batch of cupcakes into the oven. These are out, um, and I have some in the fridge right now cooling. And then we're going to be using buttercream frosting. So, in addition to the cupcakes, Christian found this Oscar cookie cutter. Let's see, can you see it? Is Christian just a made up person? Is Shh. This Oscar cookie cutter. So we're gonna make some sugar cookies and also the frosting fiasco has been somewhat solved. I hope this looks somewhat gold on the cupcakes and the cookies, but I don't know. So we're gonna get to work. So I've already got the flour, baking powder, and salt in this bowl, the sugar, and butter in this bowl and I don't have an electric beater so this might be a little bit harder than I thought. We're gonna get cooking on those cookies. Okay so while Christian is working on the cookies I am gonna ice you really? the cupcakes. What? You just wanted me to be in the video so you don't look so lonely. <laughs> uh, I can't argue with that. Okay. So despite all the preparation that went into this video, um, I didn't film an outro, which is just very typical of me. Anyways, I really hope that in light of everything that is going on right now, that you guys can enjoy this video and have a laugh at my expense and I don't know, just celebrate movies. If you didn't watch the movies from this year, I highly recommend a lot of them. Um, two of them I know for sure on streaming platforms, a lot more you can probably rent right now. Um, maybe I'll do the research and put that down below in the description box, so check that out. Otherwise, please don't forget to comment and like this video. Um, subscribe if you're interested in more content like this. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe, wash your hands, hug your family, tell them you love them. And I'll see you in my next video next Sunday. Bye.